Are eating disorders and especially overeating a disease? Very big question. What we say about addiction is we say usually, I mean the disease of addiction, we usually say it's a physical addiction coupled with a psychological obsession. That's what creates the dis-ease. And you have to treat both parts of that as well as a third part, it's like a three-legged stool. The third part is the spiritual connection which often gets fully ignored, especially in medical treatment. Uh, very few facilities do attend to it. Uh, the Betty Ford Center, where I lecture, does spend a lot of time with spirituality and has some very, uh, I think, very capable spiritual counselors there. But the physical addiction part is usually an addiction to sugar and refined carbohydrates. Why? Because when we eat, carbohydrates, we shoot up, and then after that, we fall way below the line where we started, and we, were, we are in withdrawals. Well, what's the best thing to do when you're in withdrawals? Eat some more. We learn to self-medicate ourselves, to go up again for another 18 minutes, and then plummet back down. So. By the time we're at the latter stages of our disease, we're constantly up and down, up and down, up and down. And even after we get into recovery, this then creates uh, a lot of, sometimes how we create our lives to be a little bit of a roller coaster. In fact, I heard a guy say last week that before recovery, he was on a merry-go-round, and after recovery, he was on a roller coaster. Uh, so that is about the physical part. Then there's a psychological obsession, which is uh, we, we learn very little tolerance for pain and discomfort. We don't see ourselves weathering things and, and walking through them without grabbing something quickly to self-medicate. So we have this psychological need to kind of zone out because we don't know how, we don't learn that this too shall pass if it's bad. And even if it's good, this too shall pass. So coupling those two together, the physical addiction and the psychological obsession and the spiritual vacuum all combine together to create dis-ease, not feeling good, but also the dis-ease of compulsive eating.